We saw that we had a need in the community as supply started to get scarce. So the industry started talking about our ability to help out with that because distilleries are really the only places that can manufacture spirits in high enough proof to be an effective hand sanitizer. We started working on it about two weeks ago. We were actually in the middle of uh, bourbon production. So uh, we decided to take two of our 400 gallon fermenters uh, that were filled with uh, fermented bourbon mash, which is about 1600 pounds of grain, uh, and uh, repurpose that. So we actually distilled it um, all the way up to 191 uh, proof, which is uh, where it needs to be to make the sanitizer. And then uh, we started trying to source the other ingredients that are required. We're using the World Health Organization's uh, formula for it, uh, which is um, uh, pure ethyl alcohol, uh, glycerin, water, and hydrogen peroxide. It's a little bit higher strength than most uh, commercial hand sanitizers, which are usually about 60% alcohol. Ours is closer to 80% alcohol. Because we have a limited amount, uh, we are limiting it to four ounces per household. Um, and because other supplies have been so scarce, our bottles are actually back ordered. They won't be in until this Wednesday. So. Uh, what we're doing in the meantime is uh, anybody comes in it's a byob so you bring in your own bottle or container and we'll fill it for you up to four ounces per household uh, for free of charge uh, we, we don't want to charge people for that of course if you're in here and you uh, have a need for spirits we can sell you some uh, some of our spirits too uh, but we want to be able to help out the community and uh, make sure that we can get some hand sanitizer out right away even before we had the bottle so uh, we're going to be uh, distributing about 10 gallons per day uh, through the next week now we can't be open on sundays unfortunately because we're production distillery but uh, we'll do that today and then we'll do it Monday through Friday next week and then hopefully we'll have bottles available to sell after that uh, and uh, those bottles um, we'll just charge a nominal charge for it basically to cover our costs.